Wednesday of the 33rd week in ordinary time reflection At the time Jesus proceeded to tell a parable because he was near to Jerusalem and because they supposed that the kingdom of God was to appear immediately he said therefore now what they expected a kingdom a political kind of a kingdom where they would be they are the messiah or the king would redeem them from the captivity of from rome now so that's exactly why the lord is saying a noble man went into a far country received for himself a kingdom and then returned calling 10 of his servants he gave them 10 minds and said to them engage in business until i come my dear friends so so they were expecting the kingdom to come immediately but then their kind of way of expectation a uh, political redemption but then lord is saying the kingdom of god is like a master who went away who uh, went away and giving them responsibility engage in business until i come so we are all stewards in a way servants of the lord that we, we are entrusted with something so we have a duty to fulfill it and give it back we don't own anything we only own himself no one else nothing but then that's exactly how the duty a purpose of this life is designed and sent uh, and sent a delega- delegation after him saying we do not want this man to return over us when he returned having received the kingdom he ordered these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him called to him and he might know what they had gained by doing business so so look of course kind of coloring it in a different way parable of talents they don't want him to come back the true owner the true king is jesus so they don't want him to come back because their their plan is disturbed they have to give them ownership and all and the accountability of ourselves we are accountable to the lord one day we have to we have to give an account what we have done with the things what we are given lord because you have been faithful well and good servant the first came before him saying lord your law lord your mine has made 10 talents more your talent has 10 talents more and he said to him well done good servant but before because you have been faithful in very little you shall have authority over 10 cities so my dear friends now he is given these talents talents is a way of measuring it can be gold or silver bronze whatever it is so he is given this talent with a purpose so you no one can say that i don't have any one anything everyone we are all gifted in a different way sometimes but then we have a duty now this particular person has went and traded he had done a business he had taken a risk isn't it to do that business in that risk he has achieved this achievement but then to take a risk you should overcome fear or to overcome fear you should know the master knowing is loving unless you don't know the master how can you love the master in 1 john chapter 4 verse 19 18 he said fear there's no fear in love 
So the moment you love him, you don't you don't you are not scared. So you take that risk, a leap in the darkness. Trading, you can you might lose everything. Of course, this person has gained many things, and the, the master is happy and he's entrusted him with many responsibilities. Well and good servant, because you have been faithful in very little. you shall have authority over 10 cities and the second came saying lord your talent has made five talents and he said to him you are you are to be over five cities and another came saying lord here is your talent which i kept laid away in handcraft for i was afraid of you now see this particular servant is scared of the master because he does not know if you don't know him how can you love him i was afraid of you because you are a you are a severe man you took what you did not deposit and you reap what you did not sow he said now all all what he knows about the master is that so how can you take a risk and also you are she's a opportunist he's just taken things for granted no risk in life if you love you take risks isn't it you're not scared of failure anything can happen to you but then he is there so and i will condemn the master said i will condemn you with your own words you wicked servant you know that i was a severe man talking what i did not taking what i did not deposit or reaping what i did not sow why then did you not put my money in the bank i could have good have could have done something my dear friends that's exactly what what the first reading speaks about revelation chapter 4 this is a vision vision in the future and the four living creatures each of them with six wings full of eyes all around the within and within and day and night they were they never ceased to say holy holy is the lord god almighty who was who was and is and is to come continuous praising in heaven that is the ultimate ultimate goal but if you don't know the master you will hardly take any risk if you know him you will love him if you love him you take risks in your lives so that's exactly why take and he said to those who stood by take the talent from him and give it to the one who has 10 talents and they said to him lord he has 10 my 10 talents I tell you that to anyone everyone who has has more will be given but from the one who has not even what he will be even that will be taken away my dear friends if you are in the relationship if you if you if you work in that relationship you will be blessed more more and more but then if you are not in that relationship you will lose everything but as for those for those enemies of mine who did not want me to reign over them bring them here and slaughter them before me and when jesus had said these things he went ahead joining up to going up to jerusalem he's going to die but then he's telling about his own plight that those who don't want me to come will be persecuted will be destroyed but then we all are given talents each one of us we have a duty to complete that's our that should be our mission that should be our goal so no one can say that i don't have anything we all have something to achieve that should be our dream and goal amen may god bless you